wishing and wishing and wishing and wishing and wishing on me. Yeah. I've been moving calm, don't start no trouble with me. Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me. God's plan. God's plan. I hold back sometimes I won't. Yeah. I feel good sometimes I don't. Hey. God's plan. God's plan. I can't do this on my own. Welcome to our podcast. <laughs> our podcast. What is this <laughs> called? I don't know. Um, yeah, we just wanted to put together this fun little video thingamabob. Um, to just talk about our lives. Um, what's so special about us? Rory? Um, we are the two stragglers. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, we are going to, God willing, be entering the Dominican Sisters of Mary, Mother of Eucharist, in August. Woo! And hopefully. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. And we wanted to, like, document our last summer and just some of the fun things that we are learning um, on this insane journey. You know, we got the lovely clothing list. You know, yeah. anything could happen. Literally. Anything. <laughs> anything and some like interesting facts about stuff you probably didn't know about at your religious life because we didn't know either and now we do so yeah so this is our first um episode I guess you could say our first video <laughs> um, and I'm Rory I'm Autumn <laughs> so for our first um video we wanted to talk about like what even is discernment and if you have seen, if you have seen the show called um, The Sisterhood, isn't that? Becoming Nuns. Becoming Nuns. Because there's um, a sisterhood of the traveling pants. <laughs> I literally was just that. <laughs> Now it's Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Anyways, um, but if you've seen that TV series, it's like kind of like pop culture take on what discernment sure. is. Um, more or less accurate, mostly less accurate. It's kind of like dating God. I saw you leaving your boyfriend and the tear in your eye and saying, what am I doing here? <laughs> you know? If I once thought that I want to become a sister, I have to do it. It's almost like crossing off a bucket list. I won't be able to live on my own. Like, how to say like what it actually is like? Um, so yeah. Yeah. So, so like, I mean, a lot of times people hear like the word discernment and they're automatically like religious life priesthood. No. No. Um, it's not that at all. Like, you could discern whether or not you're going to read a book. I mean, it's not very realistic. But, like, discerning just means, like, praying about and making a decision about. So, when you discern your vocation, doesn't mean you're discerning religious life or priesthood. It discerns your, wow, it <laughs> means <laughs> you're discerning, like, what you're going to do with your life, what God wants you to do with your life. So, just to clear the air on those two words, because... Yeah, it's think. common misconception is, like, having a vocation means, like, specifically to the priesthood or religious life, which is not true. Vocation is literally just, like, whatever God is calling you to, what kind of state of life. And there's, like, two kinds of vocations. People always say, like, there's the big V vocation and then, like, the small V vocation. And <laughs> I so didn't know that. So your big V vocation is, like, what, so, like, married life, single life, priesthood, religious life. And then your small V vocation is, like, what are you called to in the moment? So, like, right now my small V vocation is – um being at home and like helping my family. Bring <laughs> it up in coronavirus. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, and actually, there's like another vocation. It's like everyone's vocation to holiness, and so everyone is called to holiness. It's like the general vocation, and then there's the two other ones. Um, and so, how would you discern your vocation, Autumn? Like, is this something that right. that's like, hey, Autumn, um, you're called to be a nun. You need to enter tomorrow. Is that how it works? <laughs> I wish. This isn't even a phone. It's a Bible. <laughs> hey, wait, that's a good point. Um, <laughs> no. So, yeah, you're not going to hear a voice from God. I mean, if you do, that's great. But, like, bro, probably not. No matter what vocation you're called to, you just start with praying. You don't got to pray five rosaries a day. Heck, I barely pray one. 
probably shouldn't have said that on here. Um, <laughs> you know, you just got to start growing closer to God. Um, it's like once you do, that's when you can like actually start hearing him. Probably won't be hello, but <laughs> it's a start. Like you just got to start growing in relationship with him. Um, because that'll help you no matter what your vocation is, like married, single, religious life, priesthood. Am I forgetting any? I think those are them. Okay, cool. Um, and like, no matter what it is, like you need to grow closer to God, because ultimately that's like our goal. But yeah, like praying, um, Eucharistic adoration, hello, is like oh. the best. Um, I mean, yeah. Wait, Rory, but like, what about like right now when we're in this time of Corona and like, um there's still not everyone has that on the internet but you don't even have to be in front of the blessed sacrament you can like I know people who do like internal adoration so like they just like they're like okay god like I'm gonna sit down and like be with you because I mean god is always with us I mean like when you're with him in the blessed sacrament it's like pretty cool but if you don't have (laughs) access to the blessed sacrament then you know just like taking time for prayer and silence is like super necessary Um, and then I would say like the next steps like after praying would be kind of like where are you like where are your desires leading you but to be open to any of them is probably it's like necessary because if you're not open to it, then it's going to be a lot harder to figure out. Because then you're kind of saying like, okay, God, you know, I want to know what my vocation is, but I really just want it to be this one thing, which doesn't really fly with God. Because he's like, don't do that. It's (laughs) It's not a good idea. Yeah. You should ask like, God, what do you want for my life? Instead of, okay, God, um, yeah, I'm open, but. Here's the plan. Yeah, this is what I want. So Don't say that. I That's what Rory and I did. And look where we are. It didn't work out. <laughs> so yeah. if you find yourself asking these questions and thinking, <laughs> what is my vocation? Because I don't know. We have four very helpful ideas for you to figure it out. Um, spend time in prayer. Prayer. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Can't say it prayer. enough. Prayer. <laughs> um, <laughs> Friend of the Blessed Sacrament is great. Mass, also a good option. The Rosary. Grow closer to Mother Mary. That's... Yes, yes. I'm currently... Oh, shoot. I need to read my Marian consecration for the day. Um, <laughs> but I'm currently in the process of renewing my Marian consecration. First time around, I was like, I'm just kind of doing this for kicks. But like this time, I'm like, no... Mother Mary, I need your help. Because <laughs> um, let's be real. She knows Jesus the best of all of us. So yeah. oh, um, read the Bible. Oh, yes. That's very important. Yeah. yeah. So I'm sure like everyone, if you don't even have a Bible at your house, like use your phone. We all have phones. The Bible. It's at usccb.org. Yeah. So handy. Very handy. Um. But yeah, so there's some just some helpful tips on where to start, because if you're like, shoot, I think, like, I really want to do what God is asking of me. Well, first off, hats off to you. I'm not wearing a hat, but Rory is. Thank you. (laughs) Um, (laughs) First off, great. Like, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But secondly, like, okay, what are you going to do about it? You want to do, like, what God wants you to do? Then you got to start praying about it. Um yeah yeah Marie, do you have anything else you wanted to add on that um, I think that's pretty much it I guess one last thing is whatever he's calling you to is going to bring you the most joy so like that's kind of like you know like everyone wants to do God's will whatever but like that's kind of like an added benefit I would say <laughs> like when you do this you're going to be the happiest um and so it's like another reason why you should like discern your vocation because it's going to make you happy and who doesn't want to be happy not me not going to be easy <laughs> but it'll make you happy yeah. so <laughs> seeing the tv show the sisterhood you know they kind of do it wrong because they don't really ask like what i mean they ask like what god wants but they're kind of like not really open to it i would say and it's not something you can force and i think a lot of forcing happens in that series it's not really realistic once you sit down and pray and like are just open to whatever God wants and whenever he wants it then 
you're going to be the happiest and figure it out. So, yeah. Amen to that. God's plan. God's plan.